What's up everybody, my name is Matthew from the Chris Mac Gaming channel and I'd like to introduce my latest video, a how-to on Project Zomboid. First of all, cutting down wood. Hope you're all well. Okay, so to cut wood, you need to have the axe in your hand, press the control key and hold down the left, uh, right mouse button, then click the left mouse button repeatedly until the tree gets chopped down. Now, good tip right here is to stand a little bit back from the tree um, in order to create like a knock, knock, knock sound, and that will begin chopping the tree down. A few swipes, and the tree will fall and collapse into two logs. Now, the logs can be picked up, and a saw can be used, which you need to have in your inventory, in your primary inventory. The saw can be used to cut this into planks. Uh, the two logs will give you six planks, and then the planks can be turned into further useful objects such as chairs, tables, walls, fences, gates, that kind of thing. So as I said, get your axe in your hand, hold down the right mouse button, click the le left mouse button, and there you go. Moving on to making a lamp on a pillar. Now what you need in order to do this is a saw. The saw, first of all, is needed to saw logs into um, planks. And once you have the planks, you can begin to think about what else you need to create the lamp on a pillar. Now I'm going to put mine just to the below my farm area up here. As you can see, what you need is two planks, four nails, one carpentry, one torchlight, and one rope. Now, to get the skill level one in carpentry, you'll need to have chopped down trees, created fences and so on and so forth. You need a certain amount of experience in order to create that. But once uh, you have all those items, you can go ahead and build your lamp on a pillar. Now, like I said, I'm just going to place it right here. Uh, a little tip here is to make sure you don't leave the light on all the time, because um, otherwise it will run out of battery. And if you don't have any more batteries, then obviously you'll have no light. Just turning it on and off here to show you what it does. Moving on, making a campfire. Now, campfires are cool because they can give you a way of cooking things uh, without an oven after the electricity is being turned off. That's all you have to do. Simple as that. Right click, make a campfire, and boom. There it is. Now, in order to place the campfire, you've got your campfire materials. Make sure you've got some gas and a lighter. Build a fire. Place it down wherever you want. Left mouse button to place it. Place that down. Right click add petrol. Right click again. Light fire. And voila. Fire is created. Now you have a light source all around. And the last section is how to build wooden walls. Now wooden walls are useful for uh, protection. They're useful for creating a base of operations. I've already got this building secured as you can see with planks of wood. So what I'm doing is building wooden walls to surround this little farm I've got on this plot of grass just outside my sleeping quarters. And you right click, you press build. You need the hammer in your hand in order to build anything. Click on wooden wall. And you can rotate that by pressing the R button. So you can see me placing it at different angles there. That's all that does. Then left click to place it. And finally, how to build a rain collector. Now, a rain collector is useful once all the utilities have been switched off, the electricity's gone, the water's stopped pumping, and so on and so forth. You're going to need a rain collector for drinking water and for uh, watering your crops. So I'm just going ahead, turning these logs into planks. Now, in order to build a rain collector, you need a certain amount of items. You need four garbage bags, empty garbage bags. I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. I'll explain in a minute what items you need. It will come up once I right click to build it. I'm going to put it right outside here. Okay. So right click. You need four planks, four nails, a level skill two in carpentry, and four garbage bags. Once you've got that, you can see I've got level two there. Once you've got all that, you can build your rainwater collector. And this should enable me to sustain myself for a long time. So go ahead, place that down where you want it. I want it right there. And voila, connected. I hope you've enjoyed this video and look forward to more.